Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. So today in this video, I am going to be unboxing my very first luxury item that I bought. Um, I'm very, very excited about this. As some of you guys know, I do work full time. I have a job. So fortunately, I am able to afford some nice things. You know, I still gotta pay my bills, but once in a while I do like to splurge. Now, this is my first item, like luxury material item that I have splurged on. Usually when I buy things, I buy things like gadgets or lighting systems. Like I have a new lighting system, for example, which I'm still figuring out how to work because it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. So I'm very, very excited about this. Um, I'm just going to box it. I haven't opened it yet. I just received it today. I bought it about a week ago. Today is Wednesday. I think I bought it on Tuesday or Wednesday um, of last week and it got here a week later, which I'm really excited about. I'm very, 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 very excited about this purchase. I'm not gonna give a disclaimer. So if you don't like videos like this, you can just exit. I mean, I like watching other YouTubers talk about their luxury items and I look at stuff that they have and I like to see like the way they handle it because it's different from when you just see a picture than when you like see somebody like show you and everything. So yeah, I'm I'm really excited. Um, trust me, it's not what you think it is. Um, it's not what you think it is. It's not what you think it is. What I bought came in this box right here. It's a pretty big box. I'm really, really, really excited about it. And you guys are honestly not gonna believe what I bought. And you're probably gonna be like, tell me about why though. But I'll explain why to you after I open it. So I didn't buy a brand new item. I've always been the type of person who wants to buy everything brand new, but being my first luxury item, I was like, well, let me not buy brand new just yet. Let me buy something that somebody else has used, has loved. Basically, I didn't want to spend money on a new bag if you know I wasn't sure if I was really, really gonna like it. So I bought it on this app called Tradesy and I actually just bought it straight from the app. So I like I like Tradesy being my first time buying from them and it's not sponsored because y'all know I ain't popping like that yet. <laughs> they just have a lot of items for the low, okay? And they're from sellers all over and the good thing about them is that if you feel that your item, they have a like 100% authenticity guarantee and if you feel like your luxury your item is not luxury i mean it's not authentic you can send it to them and they will like inspect it and make sure it's authentic and if it's not they will give you your money back which is great yeah this is my first designer item so i don't know anything about it um i don't know if it's authentic or not i haven't even opened the box the good thing about the app is that they have like all the luxury items you're looking for basically you just search and it's like amazon for luxury items so basically there are a whole bunch of sellers on there that sell their items and yeah so mine came packaged like this in this bag so the item I bought is a Louis Vuitton item and it came in this this dust bag so it has a pretty big dust bag. Ooh, Lord God Almighty. So it didn't come with anything else, just the dust bag and the actual bag. So this is the bag I got. And this is the Louis Vuitton, this is the Louis Vuitton Keep All 50, I believe. 50, I think, let me check. Yeah, so this is the Louis Vuitton Keep All 50 in the Epi leather. Um, so this is what it looks like. I bought. I decided to buy the black version. Originally, I was looking at the brown version with uh, the print on it. But the reason I chose the Epi leather is because it's real leather as opposed to the like regular Keep All 50 with the monogram print. Um, that one is not real leather. Yeah, so I decided to buy this one. Now it was a thousand. It was listed at a thousand dollars, but the person I bought it from was doing like a twenty-five percent off sale. So I ended up getting it for seven hundred and fifty dollars. And now that I'm thinking about it, that's a lot of money to pay for a bag. And another reason I decided not to get the monogram print is just I just felt like the monogram print was just too loud. I was actually looking at that one first, but. 
when I travel, I don't want it to scream Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. Like, I want to be like one of those subtle people that if you know if you know it's a Louis Vuitton, you know it's a Louis Vuitton. You know what I'm saying? The reason I decided to buy it instead of like a purse or anything because I'm the type of person who I like to buy nice things and then I never use them. So I decided to buy this one because. I'm the type of person as well who keeps buying stuff until I'm satisfied with what I have. With what I have, so I have a lot of carry-ons, but I wasn't really like feeling them. Like I don't really like them, so I decided to buy this one as my carry-on and a weekend bag. Whenever I travel, I'm going to use it. Like there's no other way. Whenever I'm travel, whenever I travel, I'm going to use this bag. But if I like had a regular handbag, I honestly wouldn't like use it unless I was going somewhere special. You know, so. That's why I decided to get the travel bag and I'm really, really happy with my purchase. I'm really, really excited. This bag looks almost brand new. Like you almost, like you, I, I honestly can't tell somebody owned this bag before me other than the fact like I bought it used. Like, and it is beautiful. Like honestly, this almost looks brand new. Whoever owned this bag before me actually did a very, very good job of keeping it like they they kept it very well because there's basically no scuffing around the edges which is something i looked at when i looked at the pictures um it comes with this belt thing that i'm not really sure what this is for and then it also comes with this little name holder thing thing as well i guess i don't know what is this for oh, i guess it's for you to put your address in it this bag looks brand new like Honest, I, like I wouldn't even be able to tell somebody owned this before me. What? And seven hundred and fifty dollars. Ooh, I got me a steal. I couldn't find this online, so I don't know the original like price. But let me check. Oh, so the est so on another app, the estimated retail price is twenty four hundred dollars, and I got mine for seven fifty. There's actually, if you guys are looking to buy one, there's actually one that's green on Tracy right now, and that one is retailing for six hundred dollars, and it's bigger than this one. It's the Keep All fifty five. It smells like basic leather and on the inside it's pretty clean as well, as well as on the outside. Honestly, I wouldn't even know somebody had owned this bag before me. So I'm very, 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 very happy. So this is my new weekend bag. A doing big things at 22. So whenever I travel somewhere, this is the bag I'm gonna take with me. Yeah, it has the little flaps and the gold zipper. It didn't come with the padlock that came with it. But yeah, I'm really, really, really excited about this. And it comes with a pocket at one end. Like, yes, come through. What? Look at me looking expensive. <laughs> I got a new travel bag, y'all. <laughs> and it honestly looks like it can fit so much. Like, I could probably put everything I need for, like, a trip that I'm going to take soon. <laughs> In here, like it can fit shoes, it could probably fit some pairs of jeans, a few shirts, some swimsuits. I'm really excited. Like I thought I was gonna regret spending this money, but I'm pretty excited. I I'm, I I think this was a good buy at the price I got it for. Seven fifty instead of twenty four hundred dollars for a bag that looks almost new. Like, so let me let me know if you guys have any more questions. I do want to spoil myself once in a while and buy luxury items, but it's not something I want to do all the time because honestly, I working full time. I I just really cannot afford that. Like. I wish I was popping, but I'm not. <laughs> I think I probably want to buy like one more luxury item, and I think that one will be a bag. I really want a Gucci. Is it Marmot and Mirmont? I don't know how to pronounce it, but the Gu I really want a Gucci Marmot bag, and I think I want the backpack or the fanny pack or like the shoulder bag, but I don't know yet. Yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions at all about this, and or anything at all any questions you got just ask me down in the comment section below and I will leave a link to trade C and some more LV keep all bags if you're interested um, yeah thank you guys for watching make sure to follow me on all my social media snapchat Instagram and Twitter and I will see you guys in my next video thank you and God bless bye